writing at level two. The first activity is planning a meal. The focus of the activity is learning the reading and spelling around food preparation. The benefits to the student, writing, shopping lists, notes, menus and instructions. In reading, reading labels, reading signs, lists, recipes and following instructions. The assessment activity will include reading and writing, following a recipe, reading and writing, safe food preparation, reading and writing, writing an invitation, reading and writing, writing a recipe, following a recipe, writing a menu, writing the steps to cooking rice, writing a shopping list. So those are the assessment activities. Now, with regard to preparing a meal, the coursework that you can do to underpin this, that means the classwork you will do, this is not uh, assessment work, but work that you can carry out before you do assessment. So in the area of writing, close exercises, worksheets, word searches, dictionary work, look, say, cover, write and check, paired and group work, using the dodge list and using the SNP literacy. Just to go on a few of those. Look, say, cover, write and check. Ambleside website is a good site for doing this if you can do it with a pen and paper, but you can also do it online and Ambleside, look, say, cover, write and check is a good website to do this. Um, you have a certain number of words that are already in there to hear because beautiful friend but you can also those words. And do a word search. reading you can use language experience paired reading guide guided reading that means using audio supported reading using level appropriate readers using phonic awareness tools reading recipes reading menus reading food names for a shopping list reading shop signs and reading measures so they are all the class activities that you can do in the area of reading and writing and materials that you could use are dictionaries, flashcards, ready reference, laminated cards of keywords, you can put those up around the classroom, food packaging, supermarket brochures that come into our door all the time, you can use them, bring them into the class, use them with the student, and also supermarket websites. Uh, I use the uh, Tesco website, which is good for getting a picture of the product and the spelling of the project of the produce and activities that you can carry out field trips to supermarkets we've done this um going to a supermarket taking pictures of the different uh, products on the shelf um Pesco didn't allow us to do this but um super value did um and also we've had um guest speakers in uh, people who are um used to uh, maybe run a restaurant or something like that talking about preparing meals um, that all can be good as coursework. So at certain intervals um, during the coursework then you can carry out assessment um, activities. In the um, level two writing component there are four learning outcomes um, that you need to cover. Learning outcome one is write notes and messages needed for simple tasks. Learning outcome two, write, including drafting at least five sentences so that they convey meaning or information. 
learning outcome three, use the rules of writing appropriately, for example, spelling familiar words accurately, checking the spelling of less familiar words, and using capitals and full stops. Learning outcome four, use a range of different forms of writing to suit purpose and audience, for example, instructions involving three steps or a short journal entry on an event or experience. So, to cover learning outcome one, write notes and messages needed for a simple task. I've chosen for this uh, preparing a meal activity, I've chosen to create an assessment task which involves um, writing a shopping list. I want to have a look at that now. So this is an example brief. Program title, certificate title, and our certificate is a certificate in general learning. The program is Learning for Life, it's level two. And the component title is writing. Assessment technique is collection of work. And here, the assessment guidelines. This is where you set out exactly what the student has to do. And for this, we say you're cooking chicken curry for a friend. To do this, you first need to go shopping. You will need to write a shopping list. This list should contain at least five items. Make sure all spelling is correct. Write the list in the space provided below. And you set out the learning outcomes that are covered in this task. And in this case, learning outcome one, learning outcome three, and learning outcome four shopping list. In this case, the student will write out the shopping list. It's important here to remember that the student will have practiced this during the coursework, so it won't be anything new to them. They should be fairly confident to doing it correctly at this point when you give them the assessment. See there we covered three learning outcomes with that task. Right, um, writing learning outcome two. Write including drafting at least five sentences so that they convey meaning or information. So for that, to cover that learning outcome, I ask the student to write an invitation. Again, under the assessment guidelines, you are asked to write a note to a friend inviting them to a meal you are cooking. The invitation should include where the meal is on, what has been served and the time to be there is correct punctuation and spelling. Same layout as, as the first one. And this covered is for writing learning outcome one through four. So we have further um, assessment examples here. Create a menu and write cooking instructions. For learning outcome four, you have to write uh, three steps, or you could also include a journal entry. So there are a number of activities or assessment activities for our level two writing. So I'll continue now with um, reading. Reading, learning outcome one, read familiar words that are commonly used and personally relevant. For example, read a list of items relating to a personal interest, sport or hobby. Learning outcome two, use simple rules and text conventions to support meaning. For example, punctuation, common abbreviations. Learning outcome three, interpret different forms of writing and text, including social sites, signs and symbols. For example, common formats of fiddles, menus, forms, timetables, road and other signs. Simple food preparation instructions, short piece of personal relevant writing. Find key information from different forms of writing, for example, location, factual information and forms and bills. Time and date of appointment. Learning outcome five, use reading strategies, for example, clues, context, sound, prediction, and decoding. Learning outcome one, we read instructions to make a chicken curry, so you have to follow a recipe, and then to write 
and the anchor set. So that includes in, includes a writing outcome. For learning outcome three, read safe food preparation instructions. For learning outcome four, read a receipt. That would be from the shopping aspect to get the ingredients for the activity. There are a number of assessment briefs covering um, the learning outcomes for reading and writing. So for reading, there are five learning outcomes. For writing, there are four learning outcomes. So that's nine in total, but you can cover all of those nine by three or four um, assessment briefs. So that's um, the activity.